you how to create a frequency distribution table for the following inches of rainfall. These are the data set and of course we're looking for a group frequency distribution table so we need a class and the frequency. Well you can have a list or class but list is for smaller range and classes for the big range. So well classes so every data set has a maximum and minimum so we have to be very careful searching for maximum and minimum so I clearly see this is my minimum number okay so this 67 is my minimum number and also my 130 is the maximum number so once I have this two number minimum and maximum number I am ready to actually find the range or I can start with the minimum number or a number convenient to this minimum number I can start 65 my first class should start with the minimum number or number below that number which is a convenient since this is 67 you can start 65 nothing wrong with it okay so I'm going to start with 67 actually I'm going to start with 67 now 67 to where I should land my limit so 67 2 this is not a minus 67 2 which number we're going to stop so we need a class with another word you know where we end how many students in the class how many numbers in the class how many apples in a basket or something in a group okay so we have to figure that out how do we figure it out there's two ways to figure it out if they say using the classes we're going to use one way if they say they give you the class with already then you do another way or they give you a, a, another classes that, and the, you know bunch of ways you can do that so let's do the using five classes so I'll, we have to actually find out the rules here what is that class width is equal to maximum minus minimum over desired number of classes so we do have a maximum number we do have a minimum number. we just plug it in and desired number how many classes we're looking for five classes so since like this one is okay now another one is class with second lower class first lower class we don't have any information on that sometimes they do give you that information if classes are given you know the class with you can easily find the difference with that okay now uh, you just we just plug it in, in here actually so if we plug it in it's going to give us 130 to minus 67 over 5 which is 12.6 be very careful in this case actually if you happen to come along with a decimal number make sure you round to the next whole number make sure you round to the next whole number 13 now also I want to make sure that we understand that if it comes up like evenly 12 then still you go to the next whole number if it is comes up to 11 just 11 you go to the 12 or 11.2 you go to the 12 now this is 12 0.6 we go to 13 so this is going to be 13 number should be 13 number like 67 all the way to you know count number of number is going to be 13 number in between that range so 67 to where I should land if I do you know like I said 13 number so you add well technically if you add below you will get that easily you know your class with 13 so 67 plus 13 that's the best way actually to figure it out you just add 13 here add 13 and it's going to give you this one actually so 67 plus 13 is 80 since this is 80 that number cannot be 80 it's going to be overlapping so this number should be one less than this number so it should be 79 so that should be 79 that's how we come off with that okay now if classes are given so you know every time you just add basically 13 add 13 you're going to get this one so 82 you add 13 is going to give you 92 okay so if the class width if you know the class width you just take the difference between these two 80 minus 67 it should give you 13 92 minus 69 79 it should give you 13 too okay so if you keep doing that right if you keep doing that I can get basically uh, next number if I add uh, it's going to be 93 93 to 105 and 106 to 118 and 119 to 1 
31 here you go i stop why should i stop because 130 the maximum number already in this class as long as that is the maximum number falls into anywhere even the beginning or at the end we stop okay so this is how we create class or grouped frequency oh, sorry grouped class now we need a frequency that's the whole point today actually okay so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do tally. So if I do tally, that's the best thing is you just cross one at a time. So I'm going to actually um, erase this one here. And I'm going to cross out 105. Why is 105 comes up? 105 should be in third, third row and 70 on the first one. 95 on the third one. 80 is on the second one, 90 is also on the second one, 100 on the third one. Again, look, I can even start here, 88, I can cross it out. That's the beauty of tally, 88, make sure I, you know, put that in also, 88 is down here. The third one, 76 is the first one, 80 is the second one, 95 is the third one, 130 is the last one and 102 is well there is it's a third one but there is a four already so i put a diagonal here which means five roman and 70 is on the first one again 70 on the first one 67 is also on the first one so i do diagonal 88 also i need a diagonal here and 90, I need one more here. 82 is also second one. 78, it's on the first one. 94 is on the third one. 110 is fourth one. And 85 is on the second one. 70 on the first one. 84 is second one. 98 is there okay so clearly as you see we already have the tally now a simple way we can just put down how many of here five plus two is seven so that would give you seven and you just count it it's going to give you nine it's going to give you seven it's going to give you one it's one and total frequency we have here is 25 that's how we construct grouped frequency distribution table. As you see, this tally is very um, Q tools. Thank you.